Okay, welcome to tutorial number three. We're going to cover building a ship. Here's how you build a ship. First of all, you have to have an idea of what kind of ship you want to build. Do you want to build a smaller ship, like this drilling rig, that fighter, or this assembler unit over here? Or do you want to build a large ship, like this gigantic red monstrosity over here? The kind of ship you can actually walk around inside of. Well, let's start out with a small ship right now. The process for building a ship in either case is very similar. You hit G as if you were going to reconfigure your toolbar, and then look down in the lower right hand corner and you will see three buttons. New small ship, new large ship, and new station. They will naturally allow you to start building a new small ship, a new large ship, or a new station. Let's build a new small ship right now. So click on new small ship. And immediately you will see this thing floating in front of you. That's a landing gear. What this is asking you is where do you want to start this small ship? Let's put it over here on the pad. It's important to attach the landing gear to something stable first because if you start building out in space and then while you're building on it you bump it it will float away until it has the powered thrusters to stop itself with this inertial dampener so it's important that when you are building a small ship to build it with the landing gear in contact with something to hold it down now it's telling me I don't have what I need to start building this I need construction components to build that all right, well, I'm going to hit escape to send that away, and I'm going to come back over here to this cargo container, and I'm going to use the production queue to build a construction component. Now I have a construction component. All right, let's try that again. G, new small ship. Now notice the box is green, which means it can be placed. If you try to place something too close to yourself, too, it will turn red or yellow as well. But anyway... Let's place the landing gear here. This landing gear is now the first part of a new ship we are building. Note though, it is still just a frame and it needs to be welded. But before I do that, it, I've already placed a steel plate in it because I had a steel plate in my inventory, but it also needs a large steel tube and a motor. So you might imagine this gets very tedious running back and forth between your assembler and making the individual parts you need, picking them up, running back to what you're building, and welding it. And you're right, that does get very tedious very fast, which is why uh, the first thing most people build is a miner, because you're going to need lots of ore in bulk. But the second people most people build is one of these, or the second ship most people build is one of these bad boys right here. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly like this. In fact, this is a little bit fancier than I would usually recommend building on your first attempt. But what this does is that this is a ship that has a welder mounted to it and a grinder. This is useful for building up and tearing down things. So as a matter of fact, why don't we make the first ship we're going to build like uh, that? See, the advantage that this has is the welder on a ship builds faster has an area of effect so it can build on multiple blocks at once and also because it is attached, uh, or attached via connected inventories and conveyors to a cargo bay you can simply load up a whole bunch of parts in bulk in the cargo bay and then it will pull the parts it needs as it welds so that you can weld everything together all at once but to get started you're going to have to still place down the parts manually. And the easiest way to do that is to just get a bunch of steel plates in inventory and go about start building things. Now, first thing that a ship needs is a cockpit, naturally. For a small ship, the only cockpit that is suitable is cockpit style one. This is an enclosed cockpit. Oh, I don't have interior plates. So, I need interior plates. I need to stack those computer parts. Interior plate, interior plate, God, I that. There, I picked up all the interior plates. So there's the frame of the cockpit. Now, the a ship basically needs four specific systems to be considered a useful ship. 
It needs a cockpit. It needs a power plant. It needs thrusters, and it needs a gyroscope. And if it has those four things, it can navigate in space. Anything above that is up to you. So, there's the cockpit. Next up is going to be... Number three is a small reactor, so I'm going to put a small reactor on the side there, except it wants me to have more construction components. So I'm going to go over here. I'll bet there's a bunch of construction components just sitting in here waiting for me to take them. Yes, there is. Okay, so I've got all the construction components. So, there. I've placed the beginnings of a small reactor. And next to it, I'm going to place a gyroscope. And then I'm going to start with the thrusters. Uh-oh, can't build the thruster. Need large steel tubes. Gonna go get all the large steel tubes. Now I've got all the large steel tubes. I'm actually getting kind of full. You can see down in the lower left-hand corner, the volume line has turned red to indicate that I am nearing the maximum capacity I can carry. And that maximum capacity right now is 4,000 liters, because remember when I had you set up this world, I had it set to 10 times normal inventory. And really, that's necessary for people who are just starting out in the game. So now we need thrusters and you need to have at least one thruster pointing in every direction and able in, in order to be able to maneuver. You need one pointing back so that you can thrust forward. You need one pointing up so that you can thrust downward. You need one pointing down so you can thrust upward. You need one pointing left so that you can thrust right. And you need one pointing right so that you can thrust left. And last, and certainly not least, but one most people forget, you need one pointing forward so you can thrust backward, which is important when it comes to stopping. So there we have the most basic of ships. And let's see how much I've got in my inventory that is useful in building this. Not a whole lot there. almost get the gyroscope functional. Not even close on the reactor. And the thrusters, I'm missing thruster components. Okay, so I need to go get some more stuff to make this. Note of, let's start with the cockpit. For the cockpit, I need a motor, five displays, some computers, and some bulletproof grass. I'm just going to go and grab all that out of the cargo bay over here because I'm sure it started out. It started me out with enough of that. In fact, I know I'm going to need these reactor components too, so I'm going to grab those. And I can put all this other stuff back because I've already placed all the steel plates, interior plates, and construction components into the various parts that they need simply by virtue of having them in my inventory and trying to weld them. So. I no longer need these steel plates, interior plates, construction components, or large steel tubes, so I can pick up the reactor components, and the thruster components, and the computers, and the motors. Oh, and what else was there? I'll bet there were some small steel tubes in there somewhere. And bulletproof glass for the cockpit. And I think that's it. So now, welding the cockpit. I forgot displays. Here we go, displays. So now I've got the displays in my inventory. And the cockpit's now functional. And the cockpit's now complete. The gyroscope is complete. Boom, I need a metal grid. I'll finish on the thrusters and then I'll go get a metal grid for the reactor. Alright, I can go put all this other crap back and get one metal grid. I only need one metal grid. Excellent. You can now get in your ship 
and actually do very little because you have no power whatsoever. Well, how do you get power? Well, you got to put uranium ingots in the reactor. So I'm going to come over here, and because the reactor is connected to the cargo network, I can just come over here. Oh man, that's tedious having to scroll every time, isn't it? But what if you type the word? If you click the bar above it and type the word react oh now it shows you only the reactors so now I can simply separate out some of the uranium I'll take three liters of uranium and there are no adverse health effects to carrying uranium I'll bring it over here and put it in the reactor hitting K oh look at that the thrusters have turned on the ship is now functional get in the ship and I can't move why not well it's because the landing gear is still attached to the deck you turn on and off landing gears and later cargo connectors by hitting the P key there the landing gear is yellow which indicates that there's something nearby it could attach to but that it's not attached to it then spacebar will lift us off and let it go to counter thrust and there we have our first ship and we can fly around in it and letting go slows us down. Now an interesting part of flying around that I didn't show you in the piloting part of the previous tutorial is that if you leave the inertial dampeners on it also will attempt to correct directions that you're not actively thrusting. For example, I'm thrusting forward but then if I, while thrusting forward I pitch up my bottom thruster will then try and correct my trajectory so that I'm still only moving forward the direction I'm pointing. So this allows you to sort of almost have a semi-atmospheric feeling of the flight that you are using. Now notice as I really junk around, the power usage in the lower right hand corner goes into overload. That's because I don't have a whole lot of power and I am really maneuvering hard and it's more, it, it requires more power to the thrusters than my one little reactor can provide. And so you can compensate for that by adding other reactors, by putting on batteries, whatever. But this is how you build a ship. And then if you want to dock it again, simply move it down until the landing gear turns yellow. Hit P, and then T to drop out, and there you've docked. Well, it's all very nice, but it looks kind of drab compared to this other stuff. I mean, this is blue, that's blue, that's red, there's splashes of yellow all around. How do I paint my ship? Well, here's how you do it. You hit the P key when you're not in a ship and it brings up this color picker and you can customize these 14 colors to your liking or just choose them like for instance I'm going to paint this ship olive green. In fact I don't like olive green I want it to be a more vibrant green so I'm going to turn up the saturation and the value which I guess is more the brightness and then hit OK and then simply select any block or item out of your inventory and hold it against what you want to color. Notice that the block is already green. If I were to build a block it would build a green block. But if I want to color an existing block simply point at and middle mouse button click it. And I've painted the cockpit green. And I've painted that green. And if you want to paint green faster you can hold shift and it will paint a great area, everything in the area, green. So there, now I have a green ship. That's how you build a ship. And I think that'll do it for tutorials for tonight. Happy playing.